Good morning, everybody. First of all, good morning, Prime Minister Mia Motley, uh, Mr. Rodney Taylor, Secretary General of CTU, Mr. Edmund Burke, Director of ICT, Desron, who's our country managers, all the people of Kibla Wireless who are here and from the different countries who also already launched uh, this uh, fantastic initiative and all our partners who are also here one-on-one, uh, -on -one, Athena, Dell, everybody who really is at the forefront of this fantastic initiative. And of course, our valued media partners. Thank you for being here today with us. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a big day for Kevlar Wireless, but also for the Caribbean in my view, and super happy to be here today. Um, when we talk internally about the Caribbean, what do we want to do with Kevlar Wireless? What do we want to stand for? We talk about three things. Number one, connectivity. Number two, commitment. Number three, care. First of all, connectivity, what does it mean? What do we want to bring? And I'll talk a bit about that one. Commitment and care is everything we do for our people, everything we do in our communities. And this is where JUMP will rightly fit in. And I'm super happy to be able to talk to, the, to you about that one. Today's digital world, and I'm going to steal here for a moment the words of uh, the Prime Minister Mitchell of uh, Grenada, is that Having connectivity is probably more important than having roads and airplanes in today's world. And I think uh, that is where JUMP comes in. And that's where our mission as cable and wireless comes in to really bring that. What have we been doing? Well, we've been very committed to bring connectivity to the region. We, and we will, we will remain committed to really do that. We will build those connectivity lines, both in the, in the internet space as well as in the mobile space. CW, CNW Communication has a long and proud history in this region, and we will be continued, continuing to bring that. We will continue to bring investments in deploying new technologies, solutions, and we fully appreciate and understand the importance of a truly connected society with cost-effective and reliable connection at the heart. Today, if you go across the Caribbean, and for example, in the last weeks I've been uh, in many of the islands, Anguilla, BVI, Grenada, you name it. We've brought connectivity to all the islands. We're at the verge by the end of the year to bring super speeds to one, between 200 and 500 Mbps. That's what we call connectivity. We've brought fiber to many of the islands. We're at the, Barbados is one of the forefront islands because we had bar, fiber in Barbados already since a long time, but the rest of the islands didn't have it yet. And at, by the end of the year, we'll, we'll, most, in most of the islands, we will be total fiberized. On top, there where we have HFC technologies, we will bring top-notch HFC technology. So we are making the investment to really, really bring that connectivity, whether it's from Jamaica to Trinidad and all the other islands around it. That's our commitment to the Caribbean. Why? Because it means that opportunities for personal and professional growth will be there both individually and collecti collectively, and we want to bring them at super fast speeds. However, if you see today, across the Caribbean, we're, we will be at 65% six, penetration on that fantastic internet. That's simply not good enough. We need more. We need people to really embrace the digital inclusion, and that's on us as a company to make sure that we enable that. We, we want to have an impact. We want to have a widening gap between those who have access to life-changing opportunities and those who don't. We want to close it down. We don't want to have it existing into our region. And that's why we are here today. 65% is simply too big. And while our state-of-the-art network passes millions of Caribbean homes, we've identified some major barriers. And those we want to we wanna close down and we want to bring, bring them down. What are those? Lack of awareness, what internet can do for you, what possibilities it can bring to you, the affordability, something for us to really think about, and the lack of digital skills. So three things that are really super important, which are on us to change. We must also acknowledge and confront the challenging truth that there are still segments of our population who are unable to afford basic internet services. That's not okay. So this issue during COVID became super apparent for us as a company, but I think also just as societies. The whole world talked about it, and they called it the digital divide, which everybody knew it was there, 
But when COVID came and kids could not go to school anymore, and it was the internet that had to bring that bridge, it became apparent that for sure in our region, we're not doing a fantastic job yet. And that's where during that COVID period, in combination with the knowledge that we were bringing those fantastic connectivity routes, that we started the project called JUMP already internally. So the digital divide is a large multi-faced issue that requires holistic solutions. And successful strategy requires building innovative partnerships. We, we must co-create with partners. We cannot do this alone as cable and wireless. That's why it's been taking us so long to really get this initiative going. But we, we want to partner with the communities we serve to ensure no citizen is left out. And this is where really Jump started to build over the last months and over the last years. Internally within Cable and Wireless first, we tried to find people who said, should we do this? Can we do this? How are we going to do this? And then together with the people internally with Cable and Wireless, we, we found partners to really drive with us what we call jump. And like some of, you, some of us would say, it's, we're, we need to jump faster because we're not going fast enough. The core edit of jump is a social mission. It is to connect more Caribbean people in the internet, enabling progress regardless of income or location. We at Cable and Wireless want to do this in partnership, in first instance with governments. So we've spent a lot of time talking to the governments. Really, because we can only, this will only work if we really do it in partnership and not a partnership which is a one-off. It has to be something that's going to be there for many, many years. And I think today and over the last months, that's where we finally start to get to. While Jump will look a little different in each country, which is fine, Connectivity and access lies at the heart of this long-term investment in our communities, the long-term peace, which is super important. In Barbados, we've partnered with the Ministry of People Empowerment and Elder Affairs to ensure that low-income households that qualify for the program will be offered affordable, subsidized home internet. And I'll talk to it a little bit more. One of the things we need to know is that when we can increase 10% of that penetration, in the world, typically, that means a 1% increase of prosperity. Typically, in the Caribbean, that would mean 3%. Imagine we can do that all together. Increasing that penetration from 65 to 75 is going to increase prosperity for our people with at least 3% in our region here in the Caribbean. That is what we should aspire to. We talked already about Barbados, where by the end of the year, we want to be at 1,000. We, we, of course, will have a bigger ambition than 1,000 and longer. If within Caribbean, within the whole of the Caribbean, we already are, our aim is by the end of the year to be at 5,000. My personal ambition, by the end of the year, 17,000. That's what, I, what I'm trying to get my teams and the, the partnerships with the government. That's why I'm... <laughs> because connectivity is not a luxury. And so this is really something we're trying to to bring. Cable and wireless communication has a long and proud history of providing reliable communication and that we will continue to do so. Now, first of all, I want to thank also the other Caribbean countries who have already come along. First of all, of course, Barbados, it's, a, it's an absolutely honor to be here with Prime Minister Motley and to, which I know that also in the world is doing a lot of this great work. So that's why it makes me in particular proud to be here today. But also the governments of Jamaica, Prime Minister Holmes and Minister Vaas, who has gone on, on a journey with us, the Jamaican team that is, in, that is here, St. Lucia, Prime Minister Pierre, Grenada, Prime Minister Mitchell, and the Bahamas, Prime Minister Davis, who today is celebrating his 50th anniversary of independence, who we, of course, are also offering all the best wishes today. All those partners are coming along, and that is what's going to make this initiative a success. Our commitment to the people of the Caribbean goes beyond connectivity. We want to bring more, because we've learned that if we only bring that connectivity, it's not going to work. That is the insights we got as we started to do this project. We need to equip our people with skills and knowledge needed to utilize the digital tools effectively. Through free digital literacy training, we have our partners here of one-on-one, -on -one, which you know, we can only empower if we bring, the, on the one hand, the connectivity, but we also have to bring the training. We have to take our people along. 
This commitment to education and empowerment ensures that the benefits of connectivity are fully realized and will allow those most in need to thrive in this digital age. The training we've learned is the most important piece of it. I also want you to know that JUMP is not driven by business interests or by governmental objectives. It is the embodiment of our care for our com communities and those who are currently unconnected. That is really what we are after here. So on top, we will, for each qualifying household, we will also be providing free laptops as connectivity requires a compatible device. If you don't do that, it will not work. If you just give the connectivity, it doesn't work. So, and we are offering more than just the device. We are providing a gateway to new opportunities, personal growth, and an enhanced quality of life. Jump embodies our three Cs. First of all, the connectivity I talked to. Secondly, the commitment from us to all the Caribbean governments that we will work with them. And number three, care that we will take care of our employees, but also our people out there, our communities out there. We do that when hurricanes happen, but we also have to do that connecting the unconnected when things are like day to day. That's just the thing we have to bring. Through the provision of affordable home internet, free devices and digital liter literacy training, we're striving to bridge that digital divide and create more inclusive and more empowered societies. There's a role for each business, which is us, but also broader than us, for each government, each community, and each individual to really take this seriously. I personally believe that if everybody would come along on this journey, and I think, I hope that today, we already have those communities coming along. We have the, some of the Caribbean countries that already came along, but the, today is just the start of a bigger ambition. The ambition has to be bigger, and I do hope that when people today, whether it is communities, whether it is other business people in the Caribbean, or other governments who have not yet heard about this one, will come along on the journey of JUMP. That's our amb ambition um, today. St the, today is a, the start of a journey in which every single month we will try to make a bigger jump. And by the end of the year, as said, we want to get at least already 5,000 people in the Caribbean com uh, connected. That is pretty sure. We're pretty sure about that number already. We already are at 3,000 today. But let's all together make that 17,000 and make that a long-term journey of jump moving forward. Thank you.